Um, I don't know. I believe most of us have already, of course, it's basically one of the number one trending things in the world right now. The day, the way Will Smith, you know, the way he slapped, uh, what's, his, what's his name, um, Chris Rock. That's just interesting, you know. So, the guy just walks up and, was oh, this my guy? Just interesting. Um, many of us know the backstory, and I just want to talk about it. You know, first of all, you know this argument that a lot of folks are giving, which is that you're supposed to protect your wife. I don't see it. Why? Because not that not that you're not supposed to protect your wife. You are supposed to protect your family, but you guys put yourselves out there. You know, this is the business that you are in. You know, this, it, it, it's, it's fair game. Everybody, everybody gets roasted. And this is not new. There are so many events, so many occasions, awards, ceremonies, and things like that, <coughs> where comedians are brought up and they roast people. They, 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 they yab you, they say things about you. If you can't take it, don't be there. It's, it's that simple. If you are going to be there, count the cost. Be ready for whatever it is that is going to come your way. People are going to talk about you. You are the one who wants the fame. You are, it's like you are gunning for heaven. If you are gunning for heaven, Jesus tells us very clearly, they are not going to love me. They are not going to hate me and love you. They are not listening to what I am saying. Because they don't care about what I what, what I'm talking about, and likewise, when you start saying the same things, they are not going to like you. So likewise, you come into this situation, you you, you guys put all your business out there. Listen, there are some private citizens whom you don't know anything about. Take a look at somebody like Meryl Streep. She almost never talks about her husband. With people like Matthew McConaughey, most people don't even know if he's married or who he's married to. You know. You can have that life and still keep your private life private. But when you create a whole red table talk and you bring your business out there and you start disrespecting your man by the things you say. I mean, I come here, I don't talk too often about my private life. I don't. Now, if I need to tell a story, which I'm going to in a minute, if I need to tell a story, I will tell the story. But I, I know that, yes, personal testimonies they go a long way in helping people to understand what you're saying because they can relate with it. They also realize that, you know, you are a real person talking about real things that you have experienced. So yes, those things are important when you are talking as a teacher and a preacher. Yes. However, it's not like you lead with that. It's not like you make that what this is about because it's not about you. It's about Jesus. He said, they, 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 they overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony not their testimony as in what god did for me no their testimony as in who jesus is you say you will receive power after that the holy spirit has come upon you uh, and you will be witnesses unto me we are supposed to be witnessing for jesus we are supposed to be witnessing jesus not talking about ourselves and that is why when we when when when, when you have a pastor who is standing on the pulpit and who is just going on and on about himself about his experience about sometimes it takes the picture away from jesus and that is the problem you already know holy spirit is not there why because one of the functions of the holy spirit is that he will not talk about himself he will talk about jesus as much as holy spirit is even god Anyways, back to this gentleman. Yep, uh, Chris uh, Will Smith is wrong. Anybody who has followed Will Smith, listen, he was my guy. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only person who felt like this guy is the go-to guy because he was a few years ago, about seven years ago, before After Earth. You know, um, Hancock, Hitch, all those movies where everything he touched turned to gold. I, I am, I am Legend, uh, I Robot. Man, that was the guy. But something snapped. This, I, I've seen it happen in several times in Hollywood where, you know, a, 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 a star gets to, to a certain peak and then they start crumbling, the pressures get to you, I understand that. And these are real human beings as well. But you see, when you ask for that, when you ask for that fame, you have to be able to take what comes with it. You have to, be, you have to understand the need to do the things that you need to do 
to keep your sanity and if you don't understand it whatever happens to you happens to you and you have to get it it's like you know this victim blaming trope that a lot of people do about for example and many people are not going to like this example and i'm warning you i'm preparing you for that let's say a woman goes out at a bad time to a bad place and she gets hurt and then people now start saying that you shouldn't be victim blaming okay i shouldn't be victim blaming but she really shouldn't have been there it's like okay you go to a party drinking getting drunk with boys and you are the boys are drunk you are drunk and you are mad at them for taking advantage of you that's you being foolish call it victim blaming uh, what Stephen a smith was suspended a few years ago when he made that comment that that's what he teaches his own children his own girls his own daughters listen if you are with a man and you see that the man is getting aggressive and leave the place don't challenge him and he got suspended for that on ESPN that it's not it doesn't make sense so there's common sense so when you when you when you when you want fame fame comes with yaps it comes with 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 roasting it comes with award ceremonies and comedians making jest of you i mean what was it that chris rock was it chris rock? yeah when chris rock roasted uh, bill, bill clinton over the monica lewinsky thing bill clinton hillary clinton why didn't bill clinton come and gun him down why didn't Bill Clinton put him in prison? I mean, it's 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 actually quite poor for somebody like Will Smith, who everybody looked up to. Everybody looked up to, but it was obvious after, like I said, after those like for about seven years since after X, I don't remember the year after X was. Was that 2010? That was when he started crumbling. You could see that something was wrong, something broke inside that man, and you can see the many things that Jada Pinkett is doing. You can see that something is emotionally off with her. Yeah, I understand that he needs to protect his wife. But part of protecting his wife is, well, putting boundaries. Don't cross this boundary. You shouldn't be going out there to sleep with other men. You shouldn't be going out there talking about your private business. And alopecia is not even a thing. A lot of men are losing their hair. Like I have known since I was, I don't know, 10, 11 years old that I have a receding hairline. What, am I going to get mad if somebody yabs me about that? I mean, I, I've been yabbed about a lot of things in my life. So where am I going with this? Yes, you, you should protect your family. I get that. But at the same time, if you put yourself out there, you have to be ready to take what's coming with you. The two of you are professionals. You should be able to handle like professionals. If that happens there, you don't have to handle that business there where you can get yourself into even into more trouble, which is likely to happen. Rather, call the man aside. You can demand an apology if you want to. Call the man aside. Call him to a duel if you want to and kill him if you feel like. But whatever the case may be, not in that place and not like that. You yabbed yourself. Congratulations, you played yourself. So that said, um, there was a day, yes, I wanted to talk about the day I defended my wife. <laughs> uh, I was coming from Abuja, going to Ilori. Uh, we had just passed Lokoja. We were passing that Obajano way toward Kabab. And uh, we stopped, and um, there was a. There were, there were, I don't know if they are soldiers or police. I know they were. I remember they were in camouflage. I said they're probably soldiers. So they stopped and they asked for some of our papers. And I think I had, if not all, most of them. I always make sure that my papers are complete. And then uh, they were. I don't know. They must have. You know, when they want to find something, they will find something. I don't remember what it was they were looking for. I don't remember what year this was. This would have to be 2010 or 2011. Um. Because there's something that happened around that time that I remember very well. You know, my wife was pregnant. My wife had just gotten pregnant, so I was excited beyond words. Um, so we're coming from Abuja, and I, there may have been one or two things wrong with the with the papers. I mean, everything was in order, I think. But when they are looking for something, they will find something. So the man said that I should give him something. You know, they, they're not the man. It wasn't one person. They were a group of them. I should give them something and i said no i don't remember i don't i probably didn't have any extra money after buying food but i just oh, but for the most part i generally avoid giving bribe there are times when you can't help it and that's real so anyways uh i'll come to that in fact ask questions about that you know if you run into police and the police is being difficult and you are then they're asking you to give them something i say christian should you or should you not especially when you consider the consequences. I have several experiences that I can share. I want you to tell me your own or what you think we should do in that kind of situation. There were so many experiences. That said, so they were like, okay, give us something. And I was like, nope. So they were like, okay, they are going to impound my car. 
that the guy was going to get into my car and I was going to drive them to whatever the station was. That place is a pretty remote area, if you know the area. There is not a police station nearby. So wherever it is they are taking me, they are likely taking me back to Lokoja. You know, ah oh boy, very painful thing. So, um, well, so the soldier was going to get into the car. So he got to the, to the other side of the car. So he got to the other side of the car. And uh, he started telling my wife that she should move to the back. <laughs> hey, man, I lost it. I lost it. I'm like, are you okay? You have business with me. You have business with my car. You have no business with my wife. He had his guns, his camouflage, his everything, and the other policemen were there. You have no business with my wife. If you want to enter the car, enter the car at the back. You're just as effective there, even more so. And I will drive you wherever it is you want to go. Okay? But to please leave my wife out of it. I think the guy saw that there was crazy in my eyes. I think the guy saw it. And the guy just respected himself. We got into the back seat. We got into the car. Started driving. Drove for about 30 seconds. Just around the bend. Then said to stop. I stopped. I said, then I should try to give him something to go back. I said, bros, I don't get anything. I don't have anything. Guy, if you won't go back, find your way. I can even drop you back. But I'm not giving you anything. I was actually upset. So, um, well, I think I may have driven him back. I don't, I don't think I gave him anything. And uh, that was the closest I came to getting into fisticuffs over my wife. There was another time before we got married, many, many years before, where there was some guy who may have roughed her up a little bit. Incidentally, the guy happened to be my karate student. I didn't say anything to him initially, but there was a day we were in the dojo. I was the instructor, I was a black belt. So he was my age mate, but I was his, I was his instructor. So I, 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 wasn't like, I wasn't nitpicking, I wasn't nitpicking, I wasn't witch hunting him or anything, but, well, it was his turn to fight. <laughs> it wasn't a good experience for him, it wasn't a good experience for him. I hurt him. Uh, I, 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 I was a Christian, but I wasn't a good Christian at the time. So where am I going with all this? Yes, I think it's okay to defend your family, but you should also be aware that when you put yourself in trouble, trouble will come for you so don't be don't be overly self-righteous or take yourself too seriously uh, well, I don't remember that passage in Proverbs that says you should one shouldn't you will see it there on the screen one shouldn't take everything too seriously one shouldn't if you always need picking over every offense you stress yourself I don't remember it's there in Proverbs or Ecclesiastes somewhere I'll put it on the screen you'll see it there I'll find it before I post this video so well, that's where it goes that's where it is um, I would say this, for those of us who are men, we are obligated to keep our home. We are obligated to keep our home. Keep your home, protect your family, protect your children. But part of protecting them is laying down the law, putting boundaries. Don't do this. Do this. And if you do certain things, there will be consequences. Uh, there are times when, for example, I have had to defend my wife because she... I mean, she, maybe she got into an argument with someone and in public, I would defend my wife. But at home, I will have a word with her, honey, you can't do that. Okay? Because you don't want to put yourself in that place. You just don't want to put yourself in a place where problems will happen. Just don't do that. I'm going to stop there. Please ask your questions, leave your comments, click on like, click on subscribe, uh, click on notification, share this video with others who may want to see it. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.